more bike riding to follow on from Mount Weld a couple of weeks ago. I'm going up to Mount Hobb House. The usual route described in the Abel's book involves going via the dam up at Lake King William and getting permission from Hydro, but I didn't do that. So I'm going to approach it via some forestry roads from the east and this bike will come in handy to shorten it. Oh wow, I really need to go riding more often, but that's the end of the uh, forestry road and it's off track from here, just going to catch my breath. As the crow flies, I'm about halfway to Mount Hobb House and it's been um, about 1 hour 20 since I left, but I can't just walk in a straight line to the summit unfortunately. Um, hasn't been all that enjoyable either really, it's just been scrubby with no views until now. Um, that's sort of up towards Mount Hobb House over there, but instead of just cutting straight that way, I've got to work my way around like that to avoid dropping down to a creek. Fair to say I'm a lot happier now than you know when I was last talking to the camera before. I managed to find a bit of a shortcut. So I was planning on avoiding the creek at all costs because I thought there was going to be lots of really dense scrub. But I noticed an open lead across the other side of the creek and I managed to get down the creek no problem, fill up the water bottles, follow that lead up and now I'm coming across these really open fields of uh, pineapple grass, scaparia and coral fern. And now I'm less than a kilometre away as the crow flies from the summit. And there's some views straight ahead of me too. Looking very nice. That's I've made it to the summit of Mount Hobb House about four hours after I left the car and about three hours since I left the bike. Looking like a pretty good view from up here. Quite a large, oh, small rock can, but they've got this stick that's going into it, marking the summit. Looks really nice, that ridge, actually. Um, but anyway, let's have a look down here. You've got Sladders Peak, King William Range. That's really close and really nice. And I think in there is Lake George. No, not Lake George, Lake Richmond. And that is the start, the headwaters of the Gordon River. Uh, then you've got Mount King William 1 and Mount Gel behind it. And this is Lake King William, Guelph Basin. Then you've got Mount Rufus, I think that's called Sugarloaf, Mount Olympus, Othris. That might be Mount, Mount Pelion East, actually. Then you've got Mount Ida and Cathedral Mountain. Walls of Jerusalem over there. That would be down to Butler's Gorge and Clark Dam, which is where the Abel's Book describes used to doing this walk from, but not me. Wentworth Hills, uh, towards the Central Highlands. Down the way I came, that's the direction I've been, and that's looking down the ridge towards the southeast. Mount Shakespeare and Wilds Craig. Southwest, a little bit, bit, little bit cloudy down there, but I can make out the Denison Range, Mount Wright, and the spires across there and then you can just see Diamond Peak in the Prince of Wales range over there.
just after five o'clock and back here. So it was only two hours, 40 minutes to get back from the summit. So that's pretty good time. Thanks for watching the video. Um, not a bad walk, has some good highlights up, up in the higher areas beyond Cox's Creek, but the lower scrubby sections were not that great to be honest. Hopefully I can do a multi-day walk soon. I mean, it's hard in January because January is a busy time of work. You know, I've only really got the weekends off this time of year, but hopefully once February swings by, I might be able to get out and multi-day one. See you next video.